Howdy everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Brick Traffic, and today we're taking a look at set number 10318 at 2,083 pieces, the Concord. Now this is part of the 18 plus icons lineup and it is fantastic. I wanted this set as soon as I saw it was gonna be released. Um, I just took me a while. Um, I just got promoted here at work recently, so I kind of treated myself and bought it um, at Target. So this set is absolutely amazing. So the box art looks spectacular with that blue hint, kind of like that sky blue behind the actual Concord itself. And let's turn this bad boy around. And on the back side of the box, you can see we do get a wide variety of angles. We get to see a good uh, representation of the interior of what the Concord will look like when it is fully complete. And then we also get the display stand as well as the landing gear and nose cone in the downward position. So this looks great. It does give me some dimensions. It is very, very long. It's 40 inches long. Um, <laughs> I'll have to figure out where to display this bad boy once I actually get them built. But uh, it's overall, I'm super excited to build this. And I'm super excited to show you guys um, the inside and how it's built and all kinds of good stuff. So uh, stick around to the end and uh, let's see how this thing is when we finish it. So I'll see you here in a minute. So we opened the box and we, of course, with these bigger sets, we did get a kind of a white box here. This is more to keep the box rigid and have structure inside of it. And then uh, it looks like we have 18 bags in the very first one. So that's interesting to get bag 18 outside of this. Normally it's like half and then the other half. So it looks like 21. I'm not sure exactly how many bags there are yet. We're gonna open the secondary box here and see how many exactly we have. So pulling out our instruction manual and protect the covering for it. Dump everything out and it looks like we're gonna end up with 21 bags. I think that's the highest number I see. Oh, oh wow. That is the very first paper bag I've ever gotten with Lego. So that's interesting to catch on camera. Wow, um, very interesting. It looks like the printed cockpit piece and that's what's inside of here. But wow, my very first Lego uh, paper bag. Okay, everybody, and here we have the finished product of the Concord made by Airbus, which was Air France and Britain Airlines. Now, this set is massive. It's a whopping 40 inches long. So it's absolutely crazy. We come down here, we can see it even has a display plaque with a lot of information here. I can zoom in on that so you guys can see that. Um, pretty freaking great. Um, a lot of features on this set. So, of course, this does have a nose that does dip so that pilots are able to see the runway when it is in the landing configuration or takeoff configuration. So, there's a movable part here. And let's spin this bad boy around. And you can see this tail section here has a very cool feature. So, we're going to get on this angle, and if we turn we can deploy the landing gear. So we are turning the tail. So that was a technic function inside of the whole uh, plane itself. Very, very nice. And the stand is just so simple. It looks, it looks so clean and it holds the weight of the ship very well. But, oh, excuse me, plane. We get nice prints pieces. There are no stickers on this set. Absolutely no stickers. And that is in itself awesome to see because of how often, you know, Lego sets nowadays get stickers. That's the full landing configuration there with the landing gear down as well as the nose down. Uh, but just amazing. Um, the hardest thing about this set is going to be finding out where to put it. Um, as you can see, my shelves are pretty full, but um, I just can't speak well enough about this set. So this plane does have a delta wing design. As you can see, and the way you build it, if you can see there, it's built this way, not up. So it's almost a studless design. So they do very minimal studs here 
just to give it that Lego look, but <laughs> absolutely phenomenal. So if you look on top here, you'll notice we have two stud points on the top. So if we grip real nice without breaking it, we can take that off and we do see a very small interior section here with some rows of double seats as well as some restrooms here which is, uh, it's nice, you know, they didn't have to include that in a set like this um, because this is probably built for, primarily built for display. But at the same time, it's such an awesome thing to have in the set to have an added feature like that. Get that back on there. Um, of course, we do have the fin or tail of the aircraft that does turn. And it's free roading, so I don't know if that the actual plane does that, but does turn and then we have our flaps that do adjust so you can adjust it based on how you like the ship to look now this plane of course does come off its stand so let's go ahead and pick it up which is very light surprisingly very light and you can see a better look at the stand here about how simple it is and it works so effectively um but yeah very nice stand there's another look at that plaque Something very nice about this is that the wheels actually move. This is not a play set, but that is a cool feature to have is that the, the wheels do roll and do support the aircraft while it rolls. So it is just a massive build. Um, I'm glad I bought this. Uh, I did not buy it when it first came out because I was kind of questioned because of how big it is. And it, I'm still kind of like that. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it was such a fun build. I actually built this at my friend's house and everyone there was just amazed like no sticker pieces like all of this is printed um it's just so rare nowadays that you get any set any set that has minimal stickers so something else cool about this particular set this set came with a paper bag instead of plastic for me i don't know if that's for everybody but i had one paper bag in this whole set and it was actually this uh um windshield piece here that actually had that uh um stored in a plastic bag so very nice set you know i hear i can actually lift it up so you guys can see a better look at the bottom almost no studs anywhere i mean <laughs> anywhere um it just it's fantastic i'm probably saying that word quite a bit turning it around here so we can get a good look at the back here so there's just not much bad to say about this set. I love building it. It looks great on display. It's fun to look like swoosh. It's very swooshable. So, yeah. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy back on his stand. As you can see. Slides right in. So as you can see, even with the very small display stand, it does just pop right on there. So it's not too unlike the UCS Star Wars ships. And we'll roll that tail back. And get that landing gear stowed. So there we have the Concord. Like I said it was like a little over 2,000 pieces. 10 out of 10 set in my opinion i mean they whoever designed this set is just an absolute genius it just i know it was a team because it's an icon series but man you know hats off to them i 10 out of 10 recommend you buying this set and uh yeah there's not much else to say about it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and give this video a like and i will see you guys in the next one